Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome to another weekly vlog. I decided to go ahead and film in this room because I think it's a very accurate representation of life right now. We just got back from a wonderful week in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. We stayed in a cabin with family members on Riley's side of the family and my side of the family for a week. It was super wonderful. Today's Monday, we got back on Saturday. So it's been just a couple of days and this has been life. <laughs> Trying to get ourselves sorted out, loads and loads of laundry, a big grocery order, getting back into work, answering emails that had been sitting in our inboxes, you know, all of the like, the phase three of a trip, I always say. Like phase one is planning, maybe phase four. Phase one is like planning the trip, phase two is like packing and preparing, phase three is going on the trip and then let's say that this is phase four the aftermath of the trip, um, reminiscing, getting your life together, <laughs> all of the above. So it was a wonderful trip, truly so awesome. Um, just a great week. We had just a wonderful week. It was so fun. I was genuinely not ready to leave, which is unusual for me. At the end of a week of being away, pretty much anywhere in the world that I am, I'm pretty much ready to get back home, be in my own bed, be in my own surroundings. But we were just enjoying time together as a family so, so much, and I could have easily stayed for another three or four nights, or maybe even longer. Um, it was great. Can you see? Oh, you can see! Our Christmas tree is up. So I don't know exactly what Christmas decorations are going to look like this year because of Colin our one-year-old little boy. Um, those of you who have a high energy gross motor toddler, I know you already understand. If you don't, let me just like give you a little bit of like a synopsis. When Nora was Colin's age, because they were born in the same month, two years apart. And so when she was one and it was Christmas time, we put out the tree, we put every single ornament on the tree, all of our fragile, most precious, most prized ornaments that we would be devastated if they broke. And we told her as a one-year-old, don't touch the tree. And she never once touched the tree. <laughs> Colin has tried to climb the tree to the top already 12 times since we put up the tree yesterday. So it's going to be a very simplified Christmas decor year here in the Lamb household yeah. because it will not be safe for the ornaments or for him or for any other decorations to have a whole lot out. So right now we just have the white lights on the tree. Um, it's a pre-lit tree. We usually add colored lights on it as well. So I think I will do that. Um, and then probably the star on top. I may or may not pick up some shatterproof ornaments to kind of adorn it a little bit, but I really don't want to put out, like we have very precious ornaments to us. We go and um, buy ornaments pretty much anywhere we travel as a family or any major milestone. We're like big Christmas ornament people. And it would literally devastate me if these ornaments were broken. And um, it wouldn't be Colin's fault. It would be my fault for putting them up in around a one-year-old who I know is um, very capable and strong and curious. So instead, I think we're just gonna go real low key this year um, with the Christmas day core. So, so far we have the tree. We probably will decorate the mantle. It's gonna be low key, it'll be great. So I'm actually, I probably already, the video has probably already gone up, but um, I am going to film this week because it's kind of wonky. Like I film on a delay of when I put it up. But I'm gonna film this week a video about simplifying the holiday season and really being in the moment and enjoying the days with my kids and with my family. Um, and I've just had a really big mindset shift this year. Um, rather than more, 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 I'm really focused on less, less, less and trying to minimize and simplify so that we can just be in a peaceful, easy state. So instead of being worried about ornaments getting broken, I'm just not gonna put them on the tree. Anyway, welcome to our week, getting back into the swing of things. Um, we It is a weird day outside. It's warm, but very foggy and overcast, and they're calling for rain. So we are, I was gonna try to go to the P-L-A-Y ground at some point today, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Colin is taking his morning nap. Nora is somewhere around here playing. She's got Christmas pajamas on. She's ready for the season. Um, so. That's that. Welcome to our week. I am so glad you're here. That took about 45 minutes of work <laughs> to get this place 
in shape. I am sweating, but it looks really good. We've got, we have got to go through our stuffed animal basket and get rid of the ones that nobody plays with because good grief. But we have it all sorted out um, over there and yeah, got everything cleaned up over here. Charlie Bear, he just got groomed. He looks super cute. Well, hello, Charlie. What do you have? You have little autumn leaves on your little bandana? Do you have little autumn leaves on your little bandana? Yes, you do. So it looks great in here. That was one big, one big task for the day. I am tidying up the house and I forgot to mention three wonderful letters that I've received from some subscribers that I have read and reread and they came to me about a month ago. So I apologize for not letting y'all know that I received them, but they are from Meredith in Florida, Laura in California, and Lexi in Georgia. And they're just the sweetest. So thank y'all for your letters. I really appreciate them. You guys are the best. We came to Chick-fil-A because it's a rainy Mommy, day. Mommy. <laughs> oh, it's a rainy day and I wanted to get the kids out of the house. So Riley met me here. He's over there and we ate lunch all together. And now Nora's running around. Colin was running around too. And we're going to go to Target, aren't we? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning now. I'm sitting outside of my gym about to head in. Got my lip gloss all over the place. Talked about that last week um, or a couple weeks ago. Yesterday was a good day. It got a little hard there at the end. Um, we went out to lunch and um, then we popped over to Target to get a couple of things, namely a new star topper for our Christmas tree because the one that we had last year broke at the end of the season. And so I knew we needed a new one. And Target has really cute ones, so I wanted to head over there. But um, we had a couple of meltdowns, and then on the way home we got stuck. It's about a 30-mile drive. It takes about a half an hour. We got stuck in torrential rain, which is just really scary to be. It was dark and pouring down rain. I had both kids in the car and Colin was screaming and it was just like a little bit high stress. So that was yesterday, um, but we did get the tree topper and it's really pretty. So I've been up this morning just, you know, getting things done. I need to head inside to get my workout going, but I thought I would say good morning and I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Good morning from me and my big curls this morning. I have not curled my hair in a while and I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for it today. Um, I have my one of my Walmart shirts on. I love these things. They're so inexpensive and there are so many um, colors. I think I have six of them. I will link them below, but they're just comfy and um, just great pops of color. I wanted to check in yesterday at several different points, but it was, just one of those days where it was one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, all the way until bedtime. And then I was just exhausted and crashed in bed. So I think the last time I talked to you was right before I went into workout. So I got in my workout. Directly after that, I went to go vote. Directly after that, I went up to my office and I had a meeting. Directly after that, I was filming a video for a sponsor, um, which at this point is already live. It would have been live like a couple last Thursday or a couple of Thursdays ago. Um, it's for Aura Frames and it fit perfectly in with another video that I wanted to do about simplifying the holiday season. Um, and so, and we love that frame. We were just sitting and eating breakfast this morning and looking at all the pictures go through. So go check that video out if you haven't already. So I filmed that um, and then I started editing that and then in the middle of editing it, I needed to come home and relieve my babysitter and so I did that and then immediately made dinner. We ate dinner as a family and then bath, you know, time for the kids and bedtime for the kids and then Riley and I were up, not late, but we sat up discussing, uh-oh, discussing things for a while um, about moving and just different things about that and that we're not moving. Um, 
but it's an ongoing discussion as many of you know. Anyway, Riley and I were up late. We're just kind of talking about the neighborhood slash desired area that we want to live in. Whether we really think it's realistic or not in terms of the things that we really have on our must have list. We're just not really finding it in that area. What we're finding is um, homes that we could make our own with some fixing, fixer uppering. Um, and so anyway, we we're just talking about expanding our search a little bit to a couple of other areas. Um, it was a good conversation. I don't know that we really landed on a final answer. I think we're just, oh goodness. Are you ready for a nap already? So anyway, that was yesterday, and then I got ready for bed and went to bed. And so this morning, got up and got myself together here um, to go up to, I'm going up to work again today. I have a three-day work week this week because I was off last week. You playing with that car? Roo, 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 roo. Our babysitter will be here any minute now, and I'll head out. And I have a that video that I was talking about yesterday that I started editing. I need to finish editing it and upload it and send it to the sponsor for approval. <coughs> oh, who's that cutest boy? And then I need to go over to Riley's studio and sort some shirts. Can you see why on days when I'm with the kids all day, it's really hard to film? It's just a little bit, what baby? You want a banana? Yeah, you can have a banana. I'm not banana, Mama. Okay, I'll get you a banana. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Hello, it's been a few hours. Uh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I have had extremely obnoxious computer troubles all day long today, um, which is always the case when I have a deadline. So I need to submit this video today and I can't get my computer to work. Good times. Uh, it's updating apparently right now. It's been updating for hours. I don't know what's going on. So let's talk about something happy. So for Christmas this year, we are getting Colin just one gift, just like we did when Nora, for Nora's first Christmas after she turned one, we got her her bitty baby. That was like her one thing. And um, for Colin this year, we are getting him a pickler triangle. If you're familiar with those, it's like an indoor, it could be outdoor, I guess, too. But this is, in particular, an indoor climbing Montessori toy. Colin is hard to buy toys for because he doesn't really care to play with, like, small little toys. He is, like, majorly gross motor. And so he does great with anything that he can climb on and things like that. So a pickler triangle is perfect for him. And then for Nora, we are doing the thing where you do something you want, something you need, something to wear, and something to read. So she'll get like four gifts and then a couple of little things for her stocking. So I got, I brought all her gifts up to my office, um, not all of them, the first like batch of them, because um, I'm going to store them up here so that a, she doesn't f stumble upon them and find them in our house, and B, because I do all of my holiday wrapping up here at my office because I have my huge workstation and it's just really easy to wrap gifts up here. I actually keep all of our um, gift wrapping supplies in my, in my back closet here. So, okay, so her something to wear and something um, you need, like need and wear categories have not arrived yet. Actually, I just got a notification that her need, which is rain boots, they're so cute, bright yellow rain boots, um, actually just got delivered to the house, but they're not up here. So I have um, her something to read and something you want. So for something you want, we got her this little Melissa and Doug wooden birthday cake play set. Um, because in October, she celebrated her birthday and Colin celebrated his birthday, and we were talking about birthdays every single day of the month and she became very obsessed with birthdays and oftentimes will pretend that it's a birthday every day every day is a birthday there's lots of birthdays so she will think this is super fun um that you get to like cut the little cake and you can put the candles stick the candles straight up and have a whole birthday party she will love this plus i love melissa and doug toys i love wooden toys in general they just last for such a nice long time so 
I thought that would be perfect for her. And then for something to read, I am kind of take, doing my own take on that. Um, we have hundreds and hundreds of children's books. <laughs> I can't, we have so many children's books. We do not need any more children's books. But what Nora loves in the similar type of category, I'm doing like an art supply bundle for that gift. So um, I got her some sketch pads. I think she will love these. She absolutely loves anything arts and crafts of any kind. So I thought these sketch pads would be super fun um, for her. And then she does like crayons, but because of the way she grips them, they snap a lot. And so I thought this would be a great solution to that to include in this arts and crafts little bundle that I'm kind of fudging and putting under the something to read category. It, it's like the same kind of idea, I think. Something more, a little bit more educational or, you know what I'm saying? Are you feeling me with that? Um, okay, so these are like the twistables. So they're crayons, but they are, you twist them up so that they don't, um, they can't, they can't snap. And it comes with two, four, six, eight, ten different colors. Oh, it says it right on the front, ten. So she will love these. She will love these. I'm sorry the lightning is all crazy right now. Um, and then the last thing I got in this arts and crafts bundle situation is um, a big, 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 big sticker book. So on the back, it has, it shows you what they, it has like princess, tea party, farms, pets, animals, all kinds of stuff. She loves stickers. So she will be very thrilled um, with these. I might wrap them all individually and then like tie them up so she gets to unwrap three of them. Um, and then for her something to wear, I bought her two twirl dresses from Little Sleepies. Um, they have a play line now. Little Sleepies have adorable pajamas, but they also have a play line now. And I bought her the emerald green twirl dress um, a month ago or so, and she asks to wear it every single morning. So for her something to wear, she's getting two dresses, one short sleeve dress and one long sleeve dress. Um, and then she's getting the rain boots. So that's her Christmas in a nutshell. It's going to be perfect. She's going to love it. And she'll get plenty of other toys from other family members. Um, but I just am, am not interested, especially at this age, where they're into things and then not into things. And it's just uh, in just buying just dozens and dozens of toys. Um, I probably will get some more things for her stocking. But I have three little things for her stocking here. I have two of these calico critters mystery packs where you get one of these little guys on the back her dollhouse is all calico critters which is calico critters <laughs> i'm having such a hard time saying that um yay the updates were finally installed now that it's you know 215 so i got her two of these so she can open them up and get two new little two new little people or animals little guys for her um for her dollhouse that was just very hard for me to explain. And then the only other thing that I've gotten so far for her uh, for her stocking is this little Unicorn Magic lip balm. She loves to put on my chapstick um, and she, she's so cute about it. So I thought she would enjoy having one of these. I will most likely keep this with my makeup in the bathroom because she usually will stay in there with me when I'm doing my makeup and I'll pre pretend to put some on her um, because I don't need this like generally being smeared all over the house slash Colin eating it, but she'll be thrilled with that. Once we get the rain boots and her twirl dresses in, we're completely done. So just a simple stack of gifts of things that she truly will love and cherish. And it won't be so overwhelming to where she's opening up 8 billion different toys. Um, on Christmas morning and the good news is is that like I said she'll get a couple of toys from family members and then my mom and dad love to buy all kinds of toys for the kids but they all stay at their house which is like perfection so she and her cousins have the best time opening them all up but my parents have a playroom at their house and they all stay at their special Grammy and Pop-Pop toys so it's a super win-win I'm not against my kids having toys my kids if you know if you've seen they have plenty of toys what I'm against is just a deluge of toys just constantly coming into the house because the kids don't, they get so overwhelmed, they don't even play with anything because it's just like messy and it's just crazy all the time. So that is 
the beginning of Nora's Christmas. I ordered Colin's Pickler Triangle from a small family company in um, Pennsylvania or New Jersey, and um, it's about a two to four week creation because it's like handmade, which I'm really excited about, and then they will ship it to us. Um, and so that will be his, and we'll set that up. Nora will love that too, but I, it's like the perfect gift for Colin. So we'll set that all up on uh, Christmas. Well, I'll probably set it up beforehand, but we'll put it out, you know, on Christmas Eve, and then he can wake up in the morning and play on it, and he will, he will love, he will love it. Um, and then I'll just do a couple little things in his stocking, like some of his favorite little, like his little yogurt melts that he loves, and like maybe a new sippy cup, things like that. Um, I don't know if Riley and I are going to exchange gifts this year. Some years we do, some years we don't. On the years that we don't, we usually exchange stockings, which is actually super fun. I think that's what we did last year. Um, I think that's probably what we'll do this year too. It's just nice. It's like you open up a few little fun things in the stocking. We try to focus on them being consumable things so that you, it's not more stuff in the house. Um, I, it sounds like I'm like a minimalist all of a sudden. I'm not, I'm just tired of the stuff. Do you know what I mean? With kids, there's just so much stuff. It just never ends. You're just constantly, it's just stuff. And so I'm like, we don't need, we don't need all this. We do not need all this. And that's that. So there you have it, little Christmas gift update. Good morning, good morning from our Christmas home. Isn't it so cozy? We are doing very minimal, simplistic Christmas decor this year for a variety of reasons. We're just trying to have a slower paced, lower key holiday season. So we specifically did not add ornaments to the tree because we think that they will be pulled off by one of our kids. I'll let you guess, it's Colin. Um, and then I got this really cool, I needed vacuum after we fluffed the tree and everything, but we got this really cool wicker tree collar from Walmart. If it's still available, I will link it. It's a little over $20. I think it's really beautiful. The other ones that I've seen similarly are around 80, so it's a good deal. We have our stockings that we've had for a long, long time, and this beautiful little house with the little lights, I just love it so much, is from my friend Emily. Her grandmother had a huge Christmas village, and when she was packing up her grandmother's house and she didn't couldn't keep the entire set so she mailed me one of the pieces of it which is just one of the most precious gifts ever and I love it so much and then we have a stack over here of some Christmas books and we had a snow globe on top but it was getting picked up a lot and Riley thought it was going to get broken um then we just have some pillows it's all kind of a hot mess here this morning probably like yogurt on the couch just messy but you get the idea. Just look at this view. <laughs> we got it all nice and kind of cozied up in here. The weather is dropping. The temperatures are dropping tonight. So we are getting ready for it to feel more like the holiday season. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I have not yet done my hair this morning. <laughs> I'm heading to work out and then I have a work day today. Um, and so that is what I am up to. Spending the morning here with the kids, of course, and then I'm going to get dressed. Go work out. Come back get dressed into fresh clothes, and then go work for a little while. Um, and then this will be the end of my work week. So, good morning. It feels good to wake up in a Christmas house. Nora was thrilled when she woke up. Well, hello there. I just finished up with the gym, went home, got myself a little freshened up, and ate some breakfast. Um, and then I am now obviously up at my office. I need to curl my hair more often. I mean, I know it doesn't look like amazing right now, but it feels like it still has a little bit of style, even though I've slept on it and worked out. Better than when it's just like stringy, you know? It's like, oh look, she tried. I really didn't try them. Um, I just got Nora's something you need gift. And I can't, <laughs> they're so cute. I mean, honest to goodness, can you even look? Glossy yellow hunter toddler rain boots. So cute. I, um, gosh, I love these. She is going to be so stinking cute in these little boots. I have a pair of black hunter boots that I got in college. Golly, 
I can't believe it's been that long. So I've had them for a decade and, or more, maybe 12 years. Cause I think I got them in the middle of college and um, they are just worth every penny. They're so nice. They're so comfortable. I still wear them all the time um, whenever it's rainy here. I just love them. So I thought obviously Nora will outgrow these, but I thought yellow was a perfect color because little children in yellow rain boots is like <laughs> the sweetest thing on earth. And yellow is a perfect color for Colin too when the day comes. I feel like the coloring, is that happening? Are you seeing that on the screen or is it just me? Hopefully I'm, it's just me. It looks like the lighting is changing a whole bunch. Is it because of these are so shiny? Maybe. Um, but anyway, so these will be Nora's and then that's something I've been really trying to focus on lately when I'm buying items that I want to have some longevity to them is choosing a higher quality item and a more neutral colorway so that Nora will wear them and then Colin can wear them where possible. So it was possible. How cute are these? So there, I have Nora's little box right down here from yesterday when I was sharing. So once we get her twirl dresses in, then she's set to go. I'm going to wrap it all up and make it cute. And we're going to do, Riley loves, absolutely loves doing stockings. So we will probably, Riley and I will probably go on a date at some point, um, in the next month and a half, month or so, and uh, go and pick out some fun stocking stuffers for her and for Colin. So that's that. I just almost finished drinking my morning coffee this morning. I purchased, because I heard about it on TikTok, that it was the absolute best white chocolate mocha sauce possible in the planet, on the planet. And it's called Hollander's White Chocolate Sauce. And my, favorite 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 drink from Starbucks I think top of anything is a white iced white chocolate peppermint mocha it tastes to me like peppermint bark coffee in a cup and it is so good I absolutely love it it is not like a low calorie kind of thing but it's delicious it's such a treat and those things are so expensive like five, six dollars. So I was thinking, I really am trying to do my coffee at home as much as possible. And so I did some research. I found this Hollander stuff. I ordered it. It's so good. It is so good. So I put a couple of pumps of it um, in a glass, not in this plastic cup, in a glass and a couple of pumps of peppermint syrup in the same glass. And then I brewed two shots of espresso over top of it. And then I mixed it up and put it in the fridge so it will cool down cool down. I added some milk and then I transferred it once it was cool into here and added ice. It's literally better than Starbucks and pennies compared to what Starbucks charges for the same drink. So I will try to remember to show you what it looks like. We, you can buy it in like a squeeze bottle, but we got like the, the squeeze bottle was out of stock. So I just went for it and got like the huge like pump because I know we'll drink it over the next six months or so over the winter since it's just su such a delicious wintertime white mocha. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. So I'll leave that linked below if you're interested. Um, and you can let me know what you think if you try it. If you're a white chocolate peppermint mocha or just a white chocolate mocha person. I know that's my sister's favorite Starbucks drink is a white chocolate mocha. I think she gets it iced as well. I love it with the peppermint. It's just like amazing. Anywho, I'm going to get to work. I just got approval for my Aura Frame video and just was able to put that live. So um, now it's been a couple of weeks um, since that went live. But I just want to thank you guys in advance for anyone who watches that video and gives likes to it. If you're willing to watch the first few minutes of any video that has a sponsor where I'm talking about that sponsor, the rest of the video is genuine Blair Lamb content like I would create and have created for years and years. It's just that adding that sponsor at the beginning allows me to create these extra videos because it makes it makes it make sense for me to spend the extra time to do so. Makes sense literally and figuratively. I think I said the exact same thing the last time I was having this conversation. So anyway, anytime that you are supporting a video that I have created that has a sponsor at the beginning of it, I really, really appreciate that because it just helps the channel be able to continue to move forward. And I just appreciate that. You guys are the best. All right, I'm going to get to work. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's noon. It's 11:59. I can still say good morning.
Good morning and happy Friday. Before I forget, let me show you this big old pump of white chocolate. <laughs> Hopefully that will last us a good long while. It's so good. I made another white chocolate peppermint mocha this morning. I like them iced, but they're really good any way they come. Um, I also made the most delicious breakfast between that drink and then I made one of the loaves of the, um, it's called Everything Sourdough and it has the everything but the bagel seasoning coating around the sourdough loaf of bread. I'll pop in a picture. And um, I baked that this morning and then made this delicious loaded avocado toast with avocado, cherry tomatoes, feta cheese, and a drizzle of balsamic. I'm just in the best mood because I had such a good coffee and such a good breakfast. If you have not tried wild grain yet, this is such a good time of year to try it when you're cozy at home. If you order it now, you can get it like in time for any time off that you may have in December. And oh, it's just so darn good. Um, they have like biscuits and cookies and you can choose English muffins and sourdough bread, fresh pasta, just all kinds of artisan bread pastries and pastas. And it's just, it's so good. We've been talking about it for months now. It's so good. If you use my link, you get money off and free croissants for life. So don't miss out. Anyway, today is the first day that it is very cold and it is not going to bounce back and get warm. The meteorologist yesterday on the news kept saying, today's our last warm day, today's our last warm day. And sure enough, I went outside this morning and it is chilly. It feels like fall slash early winter and the sky is dark and it's blustery and I'm loving it. We enjoyed our warm weather months for many, many months and now I am ready for some some cold, refreshing air. So I have some Christmas jazz on right now. It's very nice. And Nora is helping me fold some laundry. We have been taking all of the like Christmas blankets and things out of um, storage and washing them, just freshening them up right now in the dryer. I have my Santa on his bicycle flannel sheets as well as our red flannel duvet cover um, that we use, we've been using for several years now. So I'm going to get those washed, put those on the bed. Um, Colin's taking his morning nap. I am really a sight to behold at this moment. I've decided for today to be a homey, cozy, get laundry done, get the house in order for the weekend because it's going to be very cold this weekend. So I imagine we will have lots of fires and just enjoying, you know, time together at home. So I might as well make it nice and comfy and cozy. Wow, this lighting is not doing much for me, but it is seven o'clock. We just finished up dinner as a family, and we did like a steak dinner on Friday night, which is always... Wednesday ice cream! Wednesday ice cream! Do you hear, Nora? We're going to get ice cream, and that's what we're doing. We're going to Brahms, and uh, Riley wants to see if they have any of their holiday flavors out. If they do, I want a scoop of peppermint, and... Um... Yeah, I want a yellow ice cream! <laughs> what kind of ice cream do you want, Nora? You want yellow? Yeah. And, and like I cake batter? You want cake ice cream? Yeah. Fair enough. Good morning. It's Saturday morning now, and Riley and Nora just left to go run errands. Colin is taking his morning nap, and I'm enjoying, in my Christmas pajamas, a quiet house, and it's just so nice. And here's Charlie Bear. Come here, Charlie. Come here. Come here. Um, let me... Charlie just got groomed and he looks so cute. He looks so cute. Um, he really does not like to be held. He really never has. Um, so last night we did go and get ice cream. Um, I got peppermint ice cream, which is like my very, very favorite. I love mint chocolate chip during the rest of the year and then during the Christmas season. Peppermint, the one that has like the crushed candy canes in it. I just love it. So I got that and Riley got that as well, but he, his was a Sunday. It had like a brownie on the bottom. Um, so that's what we did last night. And then this morning, uh, first of all, I got to sleep in our Christmas sheets for the first time. Did I already show you that? We put on all our flannel Christmas sheets last night or yesterday. And um, it's just so cozy. I love it so much. It's very chilly today. The high is, I think, 50 right now. It's like in the 30s or 40s. So it's actually chilly and we finally have hit like weather that's appropriate for this time of year um 
So I am going to go get showered and dressed for the day while I have a quiet house, enjoy just a little bit of time, you know, while Colin's asleep and they're out. I never get the house quiet like this to myself, like really never. Actually, I heard a um, statistic the other day that the average stay at home parent gets 17 minutes of awake quiet time to themselves in a day. And that feels extremely accurate, <laughs> it feels really accurate. Um, so anyway, um, one, well actually two like housekeeping things since this is going to be the end of the vlog. The first one is that if you were interested in signing up for Wild Grain, which is the bake from frozen delivery service that we have been using and loving now for probably six months or more, um, and they send you fresh sourdough, artisan pastries, artisan fresh handmade pasta, and they source all of their stuff from small bakeries and then freeze it and ship it to you, and then you finish off the baking in your home, and it's the most delicious thing ever. This is a really good time to try it. You can get a discount and get free croissants for life using my link below, um, and you can get your first box in time for the Christmas holiday, so if you have family coming into town or your kids are coming home for a few weeks or you and your spouse are off or you and your roommate just want some delicious things or you live by yourself like I did before I was married and you just want some fresh delicious baked goods then this is a great time to try because it is like mm, so good you can also give it as a gift which I can't think of a better gift especially for like newlyweds new parents there's just really never a bad time for fresh baked bread and pastries so I just wanted to remind you of that to make sure to do that now if you want to enjoy it next month over the holidays if you are taking some time off of work. Um, the other thing is part of a larger conversation which I will have to probably do a separate video about but my shop is about to undergo some major, 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 major changes. Um, I think it's going to be better than ever. I think you guys are going to absolutely love it, um, but it's going it's going to be really different. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Blair Lamb Design for the latest information. But this video is the last video that will be going out before Black Friday. So happy Thanksgiving, first of all, because Thanksgiving is this week if you're watching this video in real time. And um, Black Friday and the Black Friday sale that is going on on my Etsy shop will be the last time that you will have the option, which I will share more about this on Instagram if you follow me there. The last time that you will have the number of options that you have where you can pick any shirt color, any design, any whatever. Um, all of that is going to change majorly just to streamline our process because when I started my shop, what was it? It was in 2016, so six, almost seven years ago. Um, I was getting 15 or 20 orders a month. And so doing everything completely made to order the way that I have been doing it for all this time with that volume of orders was extremely manageable and it was really awesome. And as the shop has grown and grown and grown, which is a huge blessing and we're so grateful, it has just become extremely difficult to keep up with that same model of business of doing every single garment made to order. So we are going to move to a fully inventory model in the new year. Um, and truly, I think it's going to be amazing because ship time will be very, very, very fast um, and a lot of other things. So I will talk all about that in a different video, but I just wanted you to know that if you have had your eye on a specific design that with a specific colored shirt or sweatshirt or hoodie or quarter zip and you want it in a specific you know, combination, this is the time. This week, Black Friday, you will get your the rock bottom price. Black Friday is our biggest sale of the year, and this will be the last time that you will have that option um, before it goes to an inventory model where it will just be available in a in one or a couple of different colors, and you won't be able to choose any color in my shop. So make sure to take advantage of that if you are interested. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I thank you for following along, and I will see you guys very, very soon. I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this in real time and I'll see you soon.